sobering stats tonight about how COVID-19 has afflicted some of our youngest Georgians. Look at this. Brand new numbers out of the Department of Public Health show 260 kids in Georgia have tested positive for coronavirus in just the last 24 hours. And for just one example, tonight, state officials confirming a seven-year-old boy in Chatham has died from coronavirus. The health department says the child was African-American with no underlying health issues. CBS 46's Astrid Martinez tells us the young boy's death marks not only the youngest COVID-19 victim in Chatham County, but also Astrid in the state of Georgia. That's right, Sean, and this case really brings home the reality that this illness, it's not sparing the youngest members of our community. The tragic news is also alarming for Metro educators because they tell me they don't have access to constant tests and quick results like many professionals in other industries. The death of a seven-year-old Chatham County boy marks a grim milestone in Georgia's fight against coronavirus. He's the youngest Georgian to die from COVID-19. Health officials tell us the child was a black male, had no underlying health issues, and showed no symptoms. The coroner telling our Savannah affiliate WTOC the child had a seizure in the shower, fell, and was unresponsive. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. A test showed COVID-19 positivity. Doctors say seizures are common with coronavirus. President Trump has emphasized that children aren't as impacted by the virus as part of his push to reopen schools. If you look at children, children are almost, and I would almost say definitely, but almost immune from this disease. On Wednesday, Facebook deleted Mr. Trump's comments saying they violated its policy on coronavirus misinformation. Lies that local educators say are harmful as they return to school. I think that that is probably like the number one concern for a lot of educators. Nori Castillo works with the Gwinnett County School District, Georgia's largest public school district. A week before school was about to begin, more than 250 employees there tested positive for the coronavirus. They're worried that they don't have any way of knowing every single day if a child is or another adult is or is not exposed to, to the virus. The CDC says more than 250,000 children under the age of 17 have been infected. Studies do show they recover better than adults, but they can spread the virus to older people. Now, the GBI lab did conduct an autopsy on that seven-year-old boy. The results are still pending a toxicology. Live in Atlanta, Astro Martinez, CBS 46 News.